All right, guys. So, um, doing a review here. Um, I got to go uh, to go see my son before he goes to boot camp up in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And um, I have to see my doctor once a year up there. I stick with him. He's been my doctor since I was like 11 or 12. And I'll be 40 next year. So that's been a long time. And he still works hard. And plus, I like him because a lot of the stuff and advice that he gives you is um, also natural. He's not big on, you know, heavy, heavy pharmaceuticals, opiates, and that kind of thing. He likes to help you with natural things and then uh, gives you what he thinks is... Um, you know, best when it has to be some kind of, uh, medication that is pharmaceutical. So I, I really appreciate my doctor. I stick with him. Uh, I will say this, um, I am still dealing with stuff from sins that I have committed in my past before I was saved. So let me, let me say this to maybe somebody that just runs into this video. If you have not trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you have not repented, if you have not trusted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. And and He hasn't if He hasn't if you've never came to Him and He has not washed away your sins, I plead with you. I plead with you to get saved. Um for God sent His Son into the world not to condemn the world, but to seek and to save that which is lost. And the Bible says for for by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. God will save you, and then he, uh, after your salvation, he wants you to do good things. So nobody comes to Jesus uh, um, and gets rid of all their sin right away. Of course not. Uh, we don't clean up to take a bath. Rather, we come to Jesus in repentance so he can clean up our lives. But uh, just just to let you know, if you come across this video, uh, before I do this re review, I've never done it before. Maybe the Lord's leading me to do this, but it's it's good, especially if you're young, get saved early, know the Lord, because it's not worth dealing with something you might have done as a sinner and have to deal with it when you're a Christian. And uh, I, I, the Lord's been good to me, I can say that much. Um I won't go too much into maybe my testimony time when I do a testimony. Uh, I think I've done a little bit of a testimony on YouTube before, but uh, I want to go in more detail someday on that uh, testimony of what, I, what I've been through and how the Lord saved me. Um, and first of all, he saved my soul. He didn't save me to get rich. He didn't save me to buy jets. He didn't save me for any of those things. He saved me from hell. And he saved me from myself. And he saved me to serve and worship him. That's why a person gets saved. But uh, anyways, let me get to the Bible review, guys. Sorry, I just felt light of doing that, so I might as well do that. This is um, Church Bible Publishers' um, Water Buffalo series. And this is their uh, Thompson Chain. And this is the 2018 printing, uh, May of 2018, which we'll see in a second. But I I've noticed something. I've had uh, three or four of these now, I think four. Um, uh, one of them I, um, sent to a guy in Canada. Um, I, my son was in the hospital and by the way, I don't know if I've said it. I think I have, but if you haven't heard it, my son is out of the hospital. He's been home about three weeks now, close to three weeks, maybe even four around there. He's been out of the hospital and, um, usually I would never sell Bibles. I would always give them to a prison ministry or I'd give them to a, right here. We have a halfway house down the street from where I live. Um, and they always have, you know, new people coming in and out and I always have Bibles ready for those people. Uh, th these are people in halfway houses that are, you know, getting jobs. They are trying to change their life and some of them are trying to do it without Christ and they just can't do it without Christ. So what I do is I give them the gospel, give them a Bible and that, um, that will, uh, you know, that will do the job. They can't do it themselves. You know, Jesus Christ said, without me, you can do nothing. So, um, but there was one Bible that I had. It was a milk chocolate turquoise. And um, I actually sold it to a guy in Canada for, I think, like, I paid the shipping. And I think I only, I sold it for like 60 bucks. And that was just so I could go see my son in uh, Omaha, which was two and a half hours away. And there were some people that donated. I remember, you know, doing a couple of videos and uh, some good brothers and sisters in Christ just donated some money to my pay, PayPal account. Or it was actually my son's PayPal account. And uh, um, it just worked out really well. All this going into a review. But anyways, all that to say this, those other um, 
water buffalo Bibles I had, uh, like with any kind of Bible you get, it doesn't matter if you get it from Skylar, Arl, Allen, you know, if they can all say Highland goat skin. They can all say iron calf skin. They can all say a natural goat skin, but it depends on where it's cut from and every hide is different. So every animal is going to be different. So that being said, the water buffalo on this compared to the other three, um, I should have brought the other one outside, but I didn't. But the other three were not near as soft as as this one. So this one just had, it's just as thick, just as durable. It doesn't have a cheap feel to it. I mean, it doesn't feel like you're going to scratch it. Uh, it's not real, real soft like iron calf skin where you got to be more careful with it or like lamb skin. It's still r rugged, but it just has this real nice um, spongy. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a real thick leather and just real supple. Um, you do have your five raised ribs on here and you got their, their um, stamping is just flawless. I like their stamping better than I do R.L. Allen's, and uh, R.L. Allen does a wonderful job, but I, I really like the stamping done with uh, Church Bible Publishers um, on their water buffalo. It's just awesome. And then you do have your, uh, I think it's, yeah, like a, a brown and a gold head and tail bands. You get three of the, um, I think it's the three-eighths inch, three-eighths of an inch. I believe the thicker, you know, the wider ribbons like the Beresfords on R.L. Allen. These are not Beresfords, but they'll fool you. Uh, I would say they're the same quality and everything. They're just a little bit of a different texture. I'd say this is the smooth, like a smoother texture. And I think it's the way they weave the, the material. Um, both are very nice. I like both, but I mean, ribbons ain't the biggest deal for me. Um, but I do like having at least three ribbons in my Bible. You know, one for the Pentateuch, one I put in uh, wisdom books and like Proverbs, Psalms, and then uh, the, the prophets, and then I like having one in the New Testament. Uh, I've noticed with this one, it's a Thompson chain, that a lot of those ribbons end up going into the back when I'm studying. But uh, what have impressed, and what's impressed me the, the most about this Bible is that Thompson chain has upped their game, at least... Uh, it, and I, and I looked at a, quite a few of them. I didn't want to, when I looked at this, when I felt the paper and I looked at the print, I, I was like, well, what is this? And it's a 2018, May 2018 printing. It's a regular size. Uh, Church Bible Publishers calls it a mid size. So it's just a regular size. It's not the hand size. It's not the large print. It's the regular size. But I just noticed the paper was very opaque. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't have any stiffness to it. There's not like all this show through. Of course, the camera's going to show more than there is. Um, but the paper quality, there's no crockling in the gutter at all. I mean, it's just, it doesn't fold up in the corners. This thing was just printed on wonderful paper. Now, if I understand this correctly, this is actually a 22 GSM paper. So for all the information you get, they have to make it a, you know, a pretty thin paper. Um, but it's a, it's a very high quality paper. And some people don't under, understand it because you do have some show through. Not near as much on this one than I've seen on others, but you do have a little bit of show through. Um, but that's because of the thinness of the paper. But as far as the structure of the paper, what's infused into the or embedded into the paper, how they make the paper, it makes it very, very strong. So Thompson Chain actually has some of the most expensive paper that you can buy. Uh, in other words, this won't go yellow. If you've looked at any Thompson Chain, even older ones, uh, going way, way back, you'll notice that they just don't turn yellow. They just don't. They they might get a slight cream to them uh, after, you know, 80 years or something like that. But they just don't turn yellow, and that's because the high, high quality uh, paper that they use. And uh, I know it's been hit and miss with Thompson Chains lately. Uh, they've really, I think, corrected that. I hope it stays this way because this is actually one of my favorite papers of any Bible that I've I've seen in a long time. And especially the best paper I've seen on any Thompson chain since I've been saved. So just a great, great paper. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is, is this is a water buffalo cover, but then you have a cowhide, you do have a cowhide liner, and it has that same kind of um, texture. It's done by AA Leather, so you know the corners are going to be really nice. This leather liner does not go underneath. I think I've said this in my other water buffalo reviews, but this leather does not go underneath the cover. It actually meets up with the cover. And I can kind of show that. You really don't notice it unless you're looking for it. But you can see how it's actually measured to perfection to meet up with the cover, which I think is awesome. And this is a real thick piece of leather. Both the liner and the cover is really thick. Um, this one is a blessing. 
in the sense that uh, since I was in Rio Rancho, I got to meet uh, Brother Dennis, the founder of uh, Church Bible Publishers. He used to run local church, and then, of course, there was a, a, a situation there, and the, the, the starters and the founders of it, um, before they were even local church, um, before they were even part of local church, uh, they were making Bibles. So, um, but Dennis Dinehu, uh, Denal, I think is how you pronounce it. He's the one that actually, um, uh, founded, uh, both, both of those. Now it's church Bible publishers and, um, just does a wonderful job at meeting him, meeting him in person. Uh, I just did a video this morning. You just realize how mission minded, uh, he is his mind is set on the souls of men if you have not supported church bible publishers um see i'm not even king james only anymore i'm not dispensational i'm not premillennial i mean i disagree with dennis on several things but i do not disagree with dennis on getting the word into the hands of people that don't have it i mean the guy is just down to earth wholesome uh loves the lord what he says he's doing with the with what 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 he says they are doing with what they're doing is what they're doing. So when they're trying to get uh, scriptures out there, they're getting the scriptures out there. They just got 60,000 scriptures sent to India. 300 John and Romans sent somewhere in Africa, I believe it was, said in the last video. And then there's other places. He was just spitting out numbers and places and just what the Lord's been doing. And I, I couldn't even get all the information. Um, but uh, they do what they say they're doing. So it's a good ministry. So you have, if you haven't maybe donated to them or bought a Bible from them, hey, pick up a couple Bibles and throw 10 or 20 bucks in there for them. They're just good people. It's just a good ministry. Um, another thing that most people don't know about church Bible publishers is you do have art gilding in every single one. Um, this is actually a brown dye that's underneath uh, the Bible to let the gold, they use actual gold leafing, uh, not real gold. I believe it's, um, it's, uh, um, it's, it's a real metal leafing, but it's not real gold. Like it's not like the old Thompson chains that I think they used to use like 14 carat or some, some kind of carat gold, but, but you know what I mean? It's real leafing. It's not sprayed on or anything, but they do spray an adhesive, which is a, a brown art guild. And that adhesive helps that leafing to go on because, Church Bible Publishers is known. <laughs> you can watch any reviews on Church Bible Publishers, but they have some some of the, if not the best, some of the best, if not the best, um, gold gilding on their Bibles. So every Church Bible Publisher that Bible that you get is going to have a brown art gilding. They tried using red. Um, it just didn't pop that much. It didn't show that much, and plus, it didn't allow the gold. From what I understand to uh adhese i think is how you'd say it you know adhesive to uh maybe adhere or something <laughs> trying to think of the word can't think of it but it wouldn't allow that 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 foil to stick as well as the brown did so they just went back to brown which is fine with me um what else can i say oh the paper like i said is just amazing like i said this is the best printing i've seen since i've been a christian uh i know that people have had problems with the paper um in the past, I think they remedied that uh, in 2018. So you're good to go. And this is a regular size Thompson. That was the one that most people had problems with. Now, I will say this. Um, the red letter is Thompson Chain Red Letter. It's it's Some people say it's kind of like a pink. This one doesn't seem pink to me. It's either red or just a little bit lighter of a red. But the consistency is a lot better. But the black, man, it's just wonderful. I'd like to see a black letter edition of this. But the paper, it doesn't fold up in the corners. It's just, There's no noise to it. There's no stiffness to it. It's just they've really upped their game on the paper. So, um, and like, if you don't know what a Thompson is, it's just got one third of this Bible is is, is helps and charts and archaeological uh, um, supplementation, stuff like that. So just a lot of information. Um, I think I said you get three of the, the, the ribbons there. Oh, let me show you what I was talking about. So you saw the brown on this one. This is the Net Bible. Um, and if you open that up, you don't see, you don't see that brown there. And this is, this is gold gilded. So that kind of gives you a reference. And I don't know if the, they probably spray theirs. They're not going to use high quality gilding or gold like, um, church Bible publishers would use. They, they use very high quality materials. Well, I hope this is a blessing to somebody. And like I said, at the beginning of the video, I didn't know it was going to go this long, but if you're not saved, 
really uh, just look into Christianity. Anybody that sincerely looked into the claims of Jesus Christ with a sincere heart and looked at the evidence and uh, and just research what Christianity is all about compared to any other religion has come to Christ. Look at people like Lee Strobel. Look at people like um, uh, Nabil Qureshi. Uh, there's a book called... Uh, uh, seeking Allah or and finding Jesus, I believe something like that. Uh, then there's uh, Lee Strobel's book, um, A Case for Christ. Uh, with some, there's other great, great um, <clears throat> testimonies out there. A lot of New Agers are coming to Christ, Amen. And uh, and they they got a lot of questions and they're getting answers and they didn't realize how much um, how much evidence that we have for the Christian faith. See, us Christians, we we we're saved by faith. Like, I didn't know anything about apologetics. I didn't know anything about the Christian faith before I got saved. I just had that childlike faith. I knew I was a sinner, knew I was on my way to hell, and I cried out to God in repentance, and he saved me. And um, after that, I had questions, though. And trust me, they, there, there's answers for your questions, whereas other religions, they just they don't, they don't have answers. Christianity has answers. And uh, I think one of the biggest answers is when Jesus Christ says yes— or in, I'm sorry. When Jesus Christ said it is finished, and then you you uh, by by faith you accept Him as your Savior, and you just see your life change, a radical change in your life. And I'm not saying that's overnight. It takes time, but God will sanctify you and and uh, bring you to holiness. And uh, and by by no means will you ever be perfect. And life will not be a bed of roses. But He saves you from an eternal lake of fire. And I pray you do that. Went 16 minutes on this one, guys. Almost 17 minutes. So until next time, I love you guys. Good day. And God bless.